sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, Meek Mill has been granted an appellate court hearing with the superior uh, court judge over um, a conviction he got. He was facing two to four years. Actually, he got it, and then somehow, I think they, you know, he got out of jail or whatever. But uh, let's talk about it. We back, Goodfellas Sports TV. I put an article link in the description, man. Appreciate the love, support. Keep sharing the videos, man. Definitely much love, respect for everybody. Keep sharing our content. But um, pretty much he about to go to a, a higher court to get an appeal. And pretty much, um, long story short, he got arrested. I heard him tell the story. Pretty much, you know, he got targeted, and uh, pretty much that it was a dirty cop. All right, I'm not going to say the cop name, not going to say the judge name. I mean, if you heard his championship album, he talked a lot about the judge, whatever, right? So pretty much they saying he's being targeted, um, you know, in general by the judge, and pretty much this cop was on a dirty cop list of some stuff they had, and he arrested Meek and said that Meek was selling drugs, and Meek actually pointed or brandished, let's use the correct word, brandished the gun at the police as they was about to make the arrest. Meek Mill said he didn't do it. He didn't, you know, he he, he said he fully denied it and said they just tried to uh, set him up. Now, you hear Lil Boosie talking about that as well, too, that he really can't even go back to Baton Rouge because he was young and dumb. And pretty much he was, you know, seeing, you know, judges and police officer name and some, some more of his underground music. And um, pretty much said, if he go back there, they going to set him up. He going to get life. Remember, he was facing the death the death penalty. And Jay-Z told Meek Mill not to sit there and take the probation. They gave him probation or whatever, like 10-year probation. He said, no, that's a setup. But Meek Mill was just so happy to be out. And so many people told him, don't take it. Don't take it. And if you make one false move, you listen to his championship album. He said, I smoke a little weed or whatever. Then they want to lock you up. You know, it's set up for you to fail. Probation is set up for you to go back. You know, you you at home and you and your girl having an argument. She called the police on you. You ain't even touch her. Violation of pro, uh, probation as soon as they put you in cuffs. So, you know, pretty much this this uh this cop was found. His name is in the uh, in the article from Complex Salute to Um He was found to be dirty. He found to uh, be corrupt. The judge still, you know, failed to uh, give Meek a new trial or a new uh, you know an appeal. And pretty much he was just holding holding her nuts. On Meek Mill. That's just what it boiled down to. She didn't like him. Uh, and also she was a black judge. So now his, his, you know, a little bit of money. He said without Jay-Z, he he probably never could have fought the case. And Jay-Z helped financially provide him some backing. And, you know, the judge, even though the cop was found dirty, you know, found to be lying, she still didn't want to get uh, Meek Mill an appeal, a new trial. So now, years later, you know, Meek is now getting uh, uh, an uh, appeal with a higher judge. And we'll see what happened. What's so funny about it? I've never been through to Pennsylvania, I don't believe. Maybe I might have been through when I was younger. So on Facebook, the Pennsylvania Fox News pops up, right? So I go on the thread. I see a whole bunch of angry faces on Facebook. You know, you can click and see all the angry faces. I'm telling you, it's about 37 at the time. It was 37 angry faces. And I had time this morning. <laughs> I'm using the bathroom. I'm just going through them. And every one I clicked on was white, white, white. So many white tears. Oh, I can't believe this. He's a thug. And I'm just paraphrasing here. Whoop de whoop, whoop, whoop. But at the end of the day, you know, white people get away with stuff all the time. Blue collar crimes. Regular people crimes. You know, they, they shoot up. The old boy shot up the char the, a church in Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. He got took to Burger King. All these times they get slaps on the wrist for for. For the alleged raves and all types of stuff. And they getting mad at Meek Mill. If I'm Meek Mill, I'm going to give him this word of advice before I close it out. When you get off papers, man, get the hell out of Pennsylvania, bro. Don't go back home. You can set up charities. Your manager set the charities up, man. Because, you know, you got to get out your home state, man. And he he couldn't even go to the Raptors and uh, Philadelphia 76ers uh, first two games in Toronto because the judge said, no, nah, we not letting you go up there. So they've been trying to hold Meek down. And it's a dude that got money now, seen to have a, seen to be a changed man. Um, you know, obviously the, the street's still going to be in you. 
Um, still going to be a little ignorance in you. And that's how it is in the street. If you push somebody from the street button, white, black, green, Simpson, yellow, you push the right button, it'll come out for you. You can control it, but, you know, sometimes it's going to come out. But still, again, he trying to do something different, prison reform. He trying to do a lot of different things. But at the end of the day, we'll see what happens. July 16th, hopefully it get overturned. Um, hopefully he can move on with his life. Hopefully he don't make no mistakes, um, no more major mistakes. We all going to make mistakes. But pretty much my word of advice to him is when you get off papers, man, and if you get off papers, we're going to speak in existence. When you get off papers, man, get the hell out of Pennsylvania. And that go for every rapper out there, man. Just move out. If you're big enough, get out your hometown. Better yet, get out your home state. You don't have nothing to prove. It ain't going to be nothing but, you know, them trying to set you up. Nothing from, you know, the, the, the judicial system trying to set you up. It ain't going to be nothing but your own people trying to tear you down, trying to kill you, jealousy. And that's real stuff, man. But don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hell Blaze at thehellblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing gives you 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair palm, and much, much more. Website, promo code description. Use that promo code, get 18% off goodfellow one boxing. Don't forget it. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. You want to make a donation, check out the Patreon. All those links in the description. Share the videos. We gone.